Hi everyone, welcome to another plan with me. This is Elise of Plan with Elise and today we are going to be planning in my dashboard happy planner for the week of, what week are we in? <laughs> uh, November 30th through December 6th. I use this spread for this planner for social media and it's kind of a Franken planner uh, of all the sort of ways that I use it. But just to show you, here is last week, or this current week, today's Sunday, after the pen, which I am obsessed with this spread using Whimsy Lux stickers. So I really get a lot of function out of this. Um, and it's definitely one of my favorite layouts for social media. So let me take these pages off the desks, just to be a little bit easier here. All right, so I had this washi tape here to kind of mark being in frame. And of course, I got it all crumbled and messed up during a film with me. So I'm just going to be more mindful of where we are in frame. All right, now I wanted to use a sticker book. I saw someone, I don't remember who it was, um, yesterday on Instagram that used the flowers and functional stickers from the little bloom box. And I was like, oh, I haven't used those in quite some time. I mean, I've used more of the functional ones, but really not the florals. And uh, after getting the new box on the Happy Planner website, tell me if you got that box with the jewel tones and the flowers and I think the gold sticker book. I was like, oh, let me pull those out. And you know, I love a black and white spread. Although I may add a pop of color in here. I sort of have an idea for that. So first up, what I'd like to do as usual is use my Papermate Dryline Ultra, and I'm just going to cover up this to buy and errands. I wonder if these are getting like affected by the cold because I sort of have them on my desk right by the window and they're not working as well as, as you can tell as they did in the beginning. They're just a little, ooh, but I don't really know what's going on there. Okay, I'm not going to cover up this bottom part yet. Let me take this hair tie pull my hair back, which means we are down to serious business. Okay, I'd like to take out these florals first. And let's see, I have like so much of me just wants to hoard these and not use them, but wouldn't they be better sitting in my spread all week than that I get to look at every day than sitting in a sticker book that I'm probably not looking at every day? I think so. Okay. These are fun. I like these boxes here because they're a little bit different than normal <clears throat> black boxes that I do kind of like to hoard because I use them. So I think I'm going to just start out and put these down. Okay, now I know I experienced this last week, so I need to just be mindful of spacing here. I'm just going to grab a ruler because... Right, so the top of the M over here on Monday, let's just get these pages lined up, is lower than that bullet there. So I'll either need to cover up that bullet. I think first what I'll do is place, actually I don't wanna place Monday sticker, but first I'm gonna line them up over here the way that I would place Monday's sticker. And that's going to cover up that first bullet, but it's fine. I never really need every single one of them. And then we have two more. So we'll put down here. And what I use these for changes a little bit each week. Um, so it'll be changing this week because on Tuesday, enrollment opens for Wild University again. So I'll have um, definitely some things to do for Wild University. I do have links in the description of this video to take a tour of Wild U, to sign up for a monthly or annual subscription. It's uh, $22 for the month and $192 for the year. You do get a bigger savings doing it for the year. And if you can swing it, I highly recommend it because I do know of some amazing content that's coming in the new year. And this way you get the whole year's purchase at once. Okay, 
there we go. We have boxes down, stickers are down, things are happening, we're going. <laughs> okay, um, I do think that just to add, well, actually, I don't know if I wanna color in bullets yet if I don't know if I'm gonna do a color yet. Okay, now, I'm not using wax paper today, so I, I do need to make sure that, I feel like I'm flipping through this book a ton, but it'll be okay. Um, I wanna make sure that I'm not flipping through way too much, so I'll try to be mindful as I'm flipping of what I'm looking for. Right now, I'm looking for something kind of to border the pages with. Um, hmm. Or some sort of decorative element. So I wanna see what the options are. Okay, I really love these stickers. However, there's a lot of them and I don't think I need to use them all. So let's take off, this is gonna be a little tricky because it's little. And that's why these little scissors work so well. Let's take off this part and then let me grab my favorite tweezers. I do have links in the video, they're in the description of the video to the tweezers and the scissors. And let's kind of do that. Maybe, maybe something kind of pretty there. I need something to put my leftover scraps on. Okay. Um, all right, I like that, that's pretty. I know it's going to cover up some of the spaces here, but it's okay. I Sometimes I need them all. I usually over plan what I'm going to end up being able to do. Um, this These top ones are for filming and videos. And how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's not likely I'm going to be filming ten videos in the next week. There was one weekend a few weeks ago that I did. Um, and it was great because it gave me a little bit of a break from feeling the need to film for a week or so. But, um, I mean, 10 videos in a weekend is a lot. I try, it didn't really happen this weekend because of Thanksgiving and apartment prep, but I do try to film um, about six to seven, and that's not really working, six to seven in a weekend, which gives me a whole week's worth of videos to put out. So I think I've been going strong for a little while, getting out a video every day, uh, and that is still my plan. If you are not subscribed to me, I usually post videos at night, right before I go to bed. So, and I'm on the East Coast, so if you're on the West Coast or somewhere anywhere west of New Jersey, um, and you are subscribed, you will get those videos up early because then I typically don't post it on Instagram until like much later the next day, like in the afternoon. So I would love if you subscribe. I'm very close, very, very close to uh, a goal that I had by the end of 2020. And every subscriber helps me get to that goal. And it would mean the world to me. Okay, that's my pitch on subscribing to my channel. Let me just cover up this last one. It's funny, it's like all of these decorative elements, they take, or the more delicate elements, like that's eight stickers right there that take a little bit longer than you would think it would take to put down eight stickers. Okay, well, there's nine. All right, <laughs> back to the book. I like this flower here, but, hmm. Okay, I kind of have to decide whether I want to do, all right, this one, this is pretty. That's the one that's going to be. I think maybe we can do a combination of these. So first up, let me cover up this focus section. Do you remember before I got this correction tape when I was cutting up Avery True Block label paper through, all right, this isn't working. I was cutting up the label paper through probably like 25% of my videos which I still like, and maybe I need to pull out for this because this isn't really working right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, I 
I've luckily have a little bit of this label paper on the side, which should be a big enough scrap piece to cover up right here. I really felt like these worked well in the beginning. I don't know what's going on with them. Okay, so let's take those black flowers out again. And I'm just gonna put them there. Oh, it's so pretty. You know I love a black and white floral spread or really just any black and white spread. Okay. And I'm not going to hoard the stickers. These I'm going to use. This down here. And then maybe a little quote right here. Bloom with grace. Mm. Oof. I forget what happens when you don't put stickers on wax paper. They get very sticky. All right, let's put that on my arm while I decide where I'm going, if I'm gonna put it down. You know what it was? I just felt like it was too, maybe I can layer it a little bit like this. That'll be a little bit better, I think. Okay. Not in love, but it's fine. Um, and this section down here I use for tracking my statistics. On uh, Monday mornings or Sunday night, I'll write down what I started um, the week with and how I ended the week in terms of following and social media growth um, because it helps me kind of see if I'm doing something right or maybe not doing something wrong but doing something that people aren't liking just to kind of just to take a look and I mean anytime you're working towards a goal I don't think tracking progress is is a bad thing cut off that end a little bit just to make it kind of fun and then I think I'll put that other, there was another black sticker over here. I thought there was. Okay, maybe there won't be. There's a black and gold one, which I don't want to use. Hmm. There's that. There was a little black one. Where did it go? I could use the tops of these here. I don't really want to. Oh, there is another. I wonder if I can take this off or it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. Okay, <laughs> never mind. All right, let me look for that black sticker. So there's this little one. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's put some flowers down around the borders a little bit to add a nice touch. I'm trying to decide just if I want to use the paper flowers or the clear ones. I think I'll probably just use the clear ones for this. So I want to be able to show the flowers, but also not cut off um, too much of the writing space. So just going to kind of be cautious as I'm putting them down on the corners that way. Okay. Whoops. So today is, as I do this, I can kind of talk through it with you. Today is, um, what is it, Sunday, the 29th of November. And aside from Thanksgiving, this weekend has been very filled with prepping for my apartment. I'm uh, placing like orders at Bed Bath & Beyond and Target and then looking on Facebook Marketplace for some furniture. Um, I'm still looking for a dresser, but I haven't found a dresser that I like that's within my budget, but I did finally find a couch. I was going bananas all week last week trying to find a couch online and I was really struggling with the fact that I was about to spend a lot of money on something that I had never sat on before. Like I just couldn't fathom buying a couch without sitting on it. And so the night before Thanksgiving, my mom and I double masked and went to Ashley Furniture and I ended up finding a couch, totally a different, a totally different couch than what I was originally thinking that I would get. 
um, but it's really pretty. It's like a beautiful light gray and I got a matching ottoman with it and it'll get delivered hopefully the day that I move, which is in uh, a little bit less than a month. And I really just wanted a couch I could melt into and this is, this should be that couch for me. So I'm very excited. Okay, have those flowers down. Now need bullets, always need bullets. So let me think really quickly of where I have the easily accessible sheet of bullets to use. Here we go. Okay, I've used that sheet quite a bit. If you are new to my channel or you haven't seen me do these bullets before, this has been my favorite trick for a long, long time where I take a Sharpie and very quickly because you don't want it to kind of um, like bleed through the sticker and sort of, what's it called? Like not warp the sticker, but it can get, um, I don't know what the word is. Sometimes I've, let me try to explain what happened. Sometimes I've seen people use a finer tip Sharpie and then it takes them longer to color in and the sticker almost just looks like it's wet. And so, I don't know, it causes problems. So I like to take a thick tip Sharpie, just do it as quick as you can over it. And a Sharpie or a perm any permanent marker is better than a regular black pen for this because it's really going to give you that bold black look over hopefully whatever color you're coloring in. Sometimes I miss the tips a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right, now these will be my bullets for each day. So I typically try to get two to three things in planner land done each day. And that may be taking a photo, posting a video, or posting a photo, and I don't know, something else, whatever that may be. Um, but I do find, even when I prep on the weekends, I don't, I'm not the, my, taking photos isn't my favorite. I'm not great at it. I feel like I see these people on Instagram taking the most beautiful photos, and um, I don't know, I... I love photography. I used to take photography in high school and I love taking pictures of people and I just can't seem to get my planner to look as pretty in a photo as other people do. Maybe it's like, I don't have props and I know I could go buy props or whatever, but I don't know. I don't have that eye for styling these flat lays. And I would love to make that something that I do get better at. Um, I know, you know, get, friends have given me tips and stuff like that, but it's just not entirely where my focus is right now. I thought maybe that was why I didn't make Happy Planner Squad because my photos weren't as good as other people's photos. Um, I don't know, I thought that the first year I didn't make it, which was in 2008, no, 2019. And then I tried to get better at the photos and then again, I didn't make it in 2020. So I guess I should try to get better again in case there's a squad in 2021. And I say in case because it's not guaranteed that there'll, you know, be a squad every year. I don't know what Happy Planner's plans are. Okay, almost done here. And I just love how these black bullets look. They're so clean. And my eye goes right to them when I pull out my spread each day so that I'm like, okay, what day is it and what do I need to do? Oops, that one is that way. Okay, cool. So next up, we're almost done. I was thinking of how I wanted to utilize these because I do like to be able to check them off these two sides, which I can't really do if I color them in black. So, I don't know how this is gonna work. We're gonna try it out together. Um, actually, that wouldn't make sense. I'm so silly. I was going to take a micron and, let me show you what I was going to, I can't believe I just was about to do that. And I was going to outline the boxes, but they're already, 
outlined in black. So that was a ridiculous moment in my life. I'm embarrassed by and I'm sharing it with you <laughs> on, on the video. Okay, finally, I guess then we are just about finished, but let's go ahead and label these boxes so that I can make them be nice and functional for myself throughout the week. So YouTube. These will be the videos that I put up every day, which are pretty much planned out in advance. Uh, this week, or this past week of Thanksgiving, I had, I changed it up a little bit from what I wrote down. Okay, and then, oh, you know what I wanted to do? Let me grab a journaling sticker book real quick because I've been really liking the habit tracking aspects that I've included in the last few weeks of spreads. There's journaling. Okay. I think I'm just going to do two habits this week. Which really is just, for me, social media habits are making sure I'm responding to comments and, um, and messages. All right, YouTube, good. Um, Wild University. We had so much fun in November. Heidi Swap was the major, which was so cool. And the girls of um, Bloom Daily Planners were the minor, which is great and a lot of gratitude practice. Okay, film. I guess filming photos. What I'm finding is I try to plan out what videos I want to do each day, like sort of a month in advance. But then what happens is things come up that um, I think would be a more helpful video or a better video. And then I have these videos that never get posted. So like an example right now is, I don't know when I'm going to put it up, but I have my December wellness monthly prompts, which are all about goal setting and reflecting back on 2020. And while it's a good video, I'm putting up four plan with me. So I don't know, like maybe you don't want to see a wellness plan with me, or maybe you don't want to see a dashboard plan with me. And instead you'd rather see those that are different. So let me know in the comments kind of what your thoughts are. Um, because while I do want to put out consistent content, I also want to show things that are more, you know, helpful for you. So I'm thinking that um, maybe this week I won't do a wellness video and I will put that one up as the wellness sort of, if that makes sense. Okay, let's get these on the discs. As a final, where can I just put this planner? As a final note about subscribing, you do get early access when you're subscribed to my channel, so hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. Okay. And I am so thankful for everyone who is subscribed and who has helped me reach my goal um, or get closer to my goals faster than I thought I may be able to. So I am absolutely obsessed with how this looks on the discs. You know that I love black and white, and this is the perfect black and white and floral spread. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I will see you next time.